All right, coming up next, a light heavyweight matchup between Mauricio Shogun Hua and Little Nog Antonio Rogerio Noguera. Well, he started judo at six years old. This is a lifelong martial artist, not unlike his twin brother, the UFC Hall of Famer, Big Nog. Here he is, the southpaw, Antonio Rogerio Nogueira, Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but an outstanding boxer. Big win over Rashad Evans back in 2013. Outstanding knockout of Patrick Cummins in 2016. Another high-level challenge for a little nod tonight. Rogerio Nogueira, the brother of former UFC heavyweight champion and former Pride heavyweight champion, Minotauro Nogueira, is one of the best boxers inside the UFC's light heavyweight division. And on top of that, as a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Well, as beloved by his contemporaries as anyone in the game, here he is, Mauricio Shogun Hua, the famed shoot box style. This is a former UFC light heavyweight champion, Joe, who's still getting it done and setting himself up for big fights several years into this mixed martial arts career. Mauricio Shogun Hua is one of the legends of mixed martial arts. His time in pride established him as one of the most devastating strikers in the history of the sport. He is the quintessential shoot-to-box Muay Thai berserker striker. the tape for this light heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! I round in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. This is the first fighting at the new corner. This man is a boxer. Only a professional record of 23 wins, 8 losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Antonio Rogério Nogueira! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 25 wins, 11 losses. He stands 61 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, Mauricio Shogun! I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go down right now. And we are underway. Ready to go for round one. And you better be mindful of the little knock power in the early going. He has chewed up and spit out a lot of guys in round one in the UFC. Louise Kane, Tito Ortiz, Patrick Cummins, all of these guys have fallen victim to a little knock in round one. We'll see if he can add to that total here tonight. And there's a nice jab. Joe, your thoughts on what we might see here early? Mauricio Shogun Hua is a nasty striker, and one of his best weapons are his kicks. Keep an eye out for those. That one hurt. Big left hand lands upstairs. Kick block there, Joe. And both guys really throwing with authority. A 
Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Hook in the clinch there by Nogueira. Z to the liver, he's hurt bad. He is in big trouble here. He's wincing in pain. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You've got to get that head off the center line. Oh, beautiful, beautiful kick to the body. Hua gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. That strike will count. Oh! Wow. He's got him hurt here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Hua gets touched by that kick this there. This is crazy! Oh, my goodness! There he swung with a haymaker. Good defense there. Effective punch there by Shogun Hua. So both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Nice knee to the body by Hua. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. And he connects with the punch there. Good jab there by Hua. Oh, both men exchange. Well placed with the kick. Nogueira's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Huge uppercut misses. That punch will work right through the guard. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. And here's a nice shot lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Really excellent striking being displayed in that round. The beautiful Jenny Andrade getting us going. To round two. Starting off this round, you gotta think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's gonna wanna move and avoid taking damage early. Mauricio Shogun Hua is the quintessential shoot to box Muay Thai brawler. He has outstanding striking technique. Oh, oh he got hurt! Oh, he got clipped there. He got hurt. Nice leg kick. Oh, big left hook there. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Right on the button. Nice combination. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. How about that chin? Shogun gets touched by that kick to the body. He clipped him with an uppercut. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. This could be it right here. Oh! Hard 
straight punch. Oh! Strong inside leg kick. Really, he might have hurt his knee there. Oh! Oh! This could be it! Oh! What a leg kick! Well, Joey seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he can change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his striking attack. Let's see some of the action here. Here's a devastating kick that does some serious damage. Beautiful submission attempt. It looks good, but can't get it. What a great round. This fight is really shaping up. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as usual. Third round underway. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys hurt on multiple occasions. If they continue it this way in this round, someone's gonna get knocked out. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, man, with that right leg kick. Do we show you the total strikes? Straight right hand now, just this. Both men landing in that exchange. Garris got the over under now. Double under hooks in the clinch. And now he's got that tie clinch joke. He's hurt. Oh. Nice leg kick. Woo! Woo! Look at that kick. Wow! He is in trouble. Whoa! Oh! That's it! It's That's over! It. Wow! What a knockout! Beautiful knockout blow to finish the fight here. Well, Joe, you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. And here's the end. Let's take a look at that again. And here it is again. Boom! And then he's out. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, seven seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mauricio Shogun So he adds to the legend tonight. Cody Chiba Brazil's Mauricio Shogun Hua is your winner. And this was exactly the type of performance he was looking for coming in. A lot of questions were answered tonight. Good to see Shogun healthy and still producing at the highest level of the game.